Scene. Date and I are back at my apartment. We're both a bit nervous, but we're both expressed interest in each other. One of us makes a move, but the other says we should take things slowly. Does slowly in the context mean no more sexual contact for the rest of the night? Or does it mean to round the bases in an hour instead of five minutes? Oh, I know. This... Don't round the bases in five minutes, no matter what. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's either like a baity question for us two to like say okay to that sort of behavior, or like you really have to sort yourself out. I don't know, man. Like, um, surely, like, number one, just want to be like, ask? There's literally nothing wrong with asking. Someone says take it slowly. Yeah, that means take things slowly and the kind of, like, to me, take, take things slowly, honestly, that's a nice way of saying, like, kind of not for a while. Do you mean for a while that day or do you mean for a while ever? Depends on the situation. That's where yeah. you have to, you know, feel or be able to tell like or what ask, you can ask, do ask. is say, like, sure, when you're ready, let me know. Or if you get ready, let me know. And then they might not. And, like, if they say, hey, can we just play a video game instead? That's the signal. Yeah. If they're I mean, still lying in your bed with their bra on, that's a different kind of thing. I don't know. Like, call me conservative or whatever, but I only, unless it's like a fetish of what we talked about all together in previous episodes and we call about, talk about why it's problematic or not in different episodes as well. Mm. But unless it's a fetish, I really enjoy when someone is just like enthusiastic about consent and is really enthusiastic about wanting to go somewhere and really wants me and desires me and it's just like there to do it if someone's like you know kind of like okay so never I will, me. So, yeah that's the thing i will talk about that from the other perspective because like yes like okay i have a slight beef that is not a beef because i understand the importance of consent but a beefish uh a slice of ham with the Tofu beef. Tofu beef with the no is a no and an unenthusiastic yes is a no and the only way to be consensual with an enthusiastic yes. In most of the time when I'm sleeping with someone for the first time, I am not enthusiastic because I'm scared. And that doesn't mean I don't want to sleep with them. It means that I, I'm not going to be like, yeah, strip me, bitch, when I've just met this person and I'm like feeling a bit insecure about it. So I might well... Actually, probably I'm less likely to say, let's take it slow, which is a problem, actually. But, like, I could be well into you and yet not showing it with my enthusiasm. And that's why asking the questions is so important. And being, like, also reading the body language. If they're like, D do you want to do this? And they're like, I don't know. That's a no. Yeah. If they're like, do you want to do this? And they're like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just a little, yeah. Then that's a, you know, tone it down like fuck and see if they react differently, like, also, yeah. taking slowly is like, well, if if you are out to the point where okay, it's okay to touch again, well, well, then just this already can be slow. Yeah. doing this, but it's like can already be arousing and like be, uh, you know, that's a one way to take it slowly. Yeah. Then there's you know there's the neck, there are the ears, you know, there's so many, so many ways you can slowly really build yeah. arousal and that sort of stuff. But that is really only if you think they're okay with it. We get to stress that you know. If, you know what, and like, okay, say you're just have the hookup, then they're not into it and leave. Say you're not and you're actually interested in this person long time, I would like to think you have the patience to wait until a second day. Mm -hmm. Like, like, oh, yeah, the basic know. rule is if they say take it slow, then just be like, yeah, chill, cool. And, and they can be sexy yeah. as well. And then see how they feel. See if they say I've really enjoyed hanging out with you in a non-sexual way and I want to see you again. Or see if they're like, that was really good, maybe see you sometime. Because, oh. yeah. Yeah. There's no harm in taking it too slow. Yeah. There are other things though as well, like I mean, so I don't know, you, 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 you know, you, you hooked up with someone and that sort of stuff and that's great. And what if they're like pushing you to do some more like kinky stuff, right? And for me personally, that's like, that requires trust mm. and it doesn't mean that I'm never going to do it. It's more like, you know, why don't we do the, 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 you know, the, the, without the kink, like too much of a kinky stuff first. And then I already have enough trust that like, if I ask you to stop, you're gonna fucking stop. Because that's the thing, right? Yeah. Like a lot of the time, and this is really bad, but like, I, you have to prove me that you're not gonna assault me unless mm. proven other, like what's the yeah. word? Or like, um, yeah, because my word. basic, when I just meet someone, it's like, they're probably gonna sexually assault me. And then you have to like really fucking work for me to, and probably through a couple of dates, for me mm -hmm. to think that that's not going to be the case or they're going to insult me or stuff like that you know yeah or i'm just going to leave feeling used and shitty yes like another thing like yeah if you're into this person yeah take it slower than 
you think is maybe acceptable and they will also show you if they if they have the confidence and they want to go somewhere they will give you a sign or they will say like yeah yeah when in doubt fucking hold your fucking horses yeah, i mean it's good that you're asking i suppose mm. and obviously there are certain situations as well and then we, yeah we talked about this in the past where like i mean yeah someone uh, you know you you kind of you slow things down things down on purpose to speed them up again in the future yeah. as such but that's you wouldn't be asking us that question if you already knew that that's happening yeah. like make them feel safe with you if they've said slow it down be like yeah sure like would you like a cup of tea do you want to play a video game yeah do you want to whatever something else that you're spending time together because if this is this only like a first date or a second date this put yeah, this person doesn't know you. They yeah. don't know anything about you. They don't know if you're a nice person. They don't know if you're just someone who wants to, like, get laid and leave. Like, Also, talking about, like, what each other is into is fucking hot. Like, it doesn't have to be this way, but, like, I don't know, like, a bit of foreplay sometimes. Not every situation is like that. But you can just really discuss, like, what, what, what turns you on, what are you interested, and that can be really, really fucking sexy. So, I mean, yeah, yeah there are... <sighs> I don't know, it just sounds like the way that that for was formulated was a little bit like, okay, like you probably did something maybe a bit dodgy That's and now you're thing. asking us to tell you that it was okay? Because it says like one of us makes a move, the other says we should get things. What was that? Making a move being like this or making a move being like whip the dick out or yeah, like, or yeah, whip that. The dick out. Exactly, because like never start with whipping the dick out, never start with touching their crotch. Generally stay gen genital free for the yeah, first yeah, yeah. while of yeah. dating. Like, yeah, you know, it's not, it's not. It's not rocket science. Like, no. I don't know. Like, we've, we've done this again, how to not be a creep and how to take things as they come. In this, in this sexual economy... Oh, I can't believe I just said yeah, that. Yeah, gross. It. Mm, mm. <laughs> that, was, that was great. Like, really, that quick return is where mm. it's at. So, like, people are just trying to get through as many people as they can. Like, uh, and they don't usually go for second dates, whether they even want to or not as such. It's just something about having... M a lot rather mm. than the quality, which for me, like, blows my mind. But I don't get it. we have said, like... Wanting a hookup is fine, but then you establish before you get to this kind of situation that you're both okay with it just being a hookup. Yeah. It sounds to me like what you wanted yeah. and what the other person wanted are not on par, and that's something you should possibly discuss before you get to the bedroom sitch. But even if it is just a hookup, like, it really fucking depends what kind of hookup it mm -hmm. is. Jesus. Like, for instance, yeah, like, you, you, you can be, like, the dom to their sub, but, like, that doesn't mean that you just, like, want them to do all of these things for you. Like, no. Oh, God. Yeah, being a sub does not mean just giving head and with no return, by yeah. the way. Yeah, <laughs> like... oh, yeah. But it's like, it's, apparently it's out there like this. Yeah. It's crazy. It's no. really bad. Now I've been like reading way more, well, I guess since we're in the, this economy, in this industry. <laughs> just reading people's experiences. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, not just reading. Uh, anyway, so we, yeah. we do our research in our yeah. own ways as well. But uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's dark out there, man. Yeah. It's real dark. And yet, like, in my positive, like, BDSM groups and stuff, there's so many ways of being a sub where the sub also gets pleasure. And, like, and I don't just mean, like, okay, like, you can get turned on by giving someone a low job, you can just get turned on by fucking coming, and, like, both are good. And, yes, like, 100%. This is not a saying that, like, people don't want to, like, like, I think, I don't know, should we go into that? I mean, just, fuck it, just to finish off, like, I mean, <laughs> no pun intended. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> it, we've been socialized where where it, the idea is that like yeah, w w women don't necessarily want to give blowjobs or that sort of stuff. But that's not the case. But it doesn't mean like you, even if we do do that, like that doesn't mean that we were gonna do it like as intensely as you want. Us. You know, it's just like yeah. I don't know. It's just so many, so many, so many. So like many yeah, things. if someone says slow down, slow down. Yeah. And read their signals, and if you really want to see them again hold it off to the next day and they'll show you if they, that's not what they meant yeah and also maybe Ask. yeah show show the magic of how great you are you know so that they definitely want to take things fast next time around you know yeah 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 okay yeah sorry yeah. not not that much more that we can yeah say use consent one. use your mind be good be flirty i don't know just yeah know be flirty but don't be creepy Whoa. like but it's not oh god it's not that or maybe it is. Oh, maybe it is, though. I think it is. I think it a lot is, of it, it is, is unspoken signals, but we've also covered it in a lot of episodes. Yeah, no, to be fair, it is really hard because there are so many people that I thought, like, yeah. should be really into me, but they're not. Yeah, <laughs> and, like, yeah exactly. Like, what you think of a signal is actually someone being nice or vice versa. So, yeah, yeah it, is, it is hard. But if you're, if someone has literally managed to verbalise that takes stuff slow, then rely on them to verbalise when they want to change their mind. Good luck. What she said. Be good. Don't be a dick. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>